2024 Kawasaki Z900 RS Puig Pyramid Fly Screen Fairing. Fairing is yellow, black, and green. This is the complete set of instructions I got. Note where they say it may include unused parts. I basically used seven bolts and some doodads. There are two brackets attached to the fairing with two bolts each. The bracket can go on two ways. I use the one where the slot is parallel to the front edge of the fairing. The bracket protrusions go through the fairing hole. Close up of one of the brackets. The screws for the other bracket are sitting on the table. The nut for the fairing is inserted from the top. It expands on the bottom when tightened down. Fly screen screws and nut. Three screws for the fly screen. Rubber nut bulges out the bottom. There are two main bolts that hold on the headlight assembly. You need to partially remove the headlight to access the inner nut. I loosen the bolts up and then tighten them again. They are the stock OEM Kawasaki parts. This is one of the bolts that holds on the headlight rim. A front view of the two headlight rim bolts that were removed. These are the four headlight screws that need to be removed. We can now loosen up the main headlight bolts. I loosen them up just enough to slip the fairing bracket in. This is where your fairing will be when you tighten the bolts. Tightening up the bolts. Torque to 15 foot pounds. It is easier to reinstall the headlight if you take out the four fairing bolts. Take the fairing, leave the bracket. Or is it, take the cannoli, leave the bracket. Whatever that saying is. Reinstall the four screws. Recheck the tightness after all four are in. The headlight rim. I used a nail to locate one of the two bolt locations. The other bolt went right in. After removing the nail, the bolt went right in, tightening the two headlight rim bolts with a socket wrench. These are the doodads, the slit tubing to keep the front fairing off the headlight rim. These are the three fly screen screw button caps. The two foam bumper protectors to keep the fairing from hitting the tachometer and the speedometer. The slit in the tubing is really there. I bent the tubing sharply to get it started. Then I pressed the tubing in place. Keep the tubing just above where you want it to go in. Don't let it dangle. You can use a cutter, scissors, or a utility knife to trim the cubing. The three button caps go over the fly screen screws. Try to do this when you won't be undoing the fly screen screws again. I took out two of the fairing bracket bolts so the fairing could swivel. With great scientific accuracy, I determined where the foam pads would go and stuck them on. Tighten up the four fairing bracket bolts.